industry, so check this out. Hi all, and welcome back to Apricot Lights. Back in the studio with us today is Ade, as usual. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for joining us again. Yep. Our dear friend, David Doe. Remember a few weeks back, we spoke about the pictures yeah. that came up online with the girl, you yes. know, with the pictures. Yeah. Well, um, David Doe has tried to come out to clarify what happened. Okay. And he said that um, he was in an apartment yeah. that was open yeah. and free, that anybody could walk in. Now, those were the words he used. So anybody could just walk in. So apparently, the girl supposedly walked in, lay down next to him and started taking pictures. Now, I don't know if I believe that so much, yeah. but that's the excuse he wants to give. Fair enough. And apparently the girl called management and apologised for what she did. Exactly. Mm. First of all, it's taking David all this long to come up with a story mm -hmm. uh, for a story. whatever actually happened. Um, you have to understand that before he could actually do an interview and say and talk about this situation, he's gone through his PR, oh, he's gone through the legal situation, his mm -hmm. label, mm -hmm. the well orchestrated story. Yes or no, right or wrong, we don't know. But at least this is the story the team has decided to put out. Um, the first problem is, is it possible for you know an artist like that to be in a situation where the doors are not locked and any stray person can just walk into the flat, lay down next to David O and start taking pictures? First question. Second of all, you don't know this girl. She took pictures, posted it online, and nobody, nobody no in the camp, nothing. nothing, could find her, check her, there's a little bit of a hole there. And then thirdly, she called the management to apologize. So she had contact with the management in the first place. Thank you very much. Hey, where did she get the number from? How did she know who to call you know? to apologize? And if she did what she did, and it was an unknown person that could have damaged his career yeah. entirely, just a phone call to apologize and say, I'm sorry, and, and we let it slide, no. then perhaps we know Maybe we know where she's come from or we know who she is. But again, the story that the camp is sticking to, I like David O, by the way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, and so I do think, I. And I think those type of pictures, even though not helpful, might be helpful in the long run. Mm, they didn't really kill, they didn't kill his career. Exactly. They had nothing, yeah. You just know, made him go made viral. Him talk, exactly, Absolutely. made him talk a little bit more about him. So, so I guess that does work. So moving on from there now, um, uh, our dear friend, DeBanch. Yep. Yeah. The band over the weekend, I believe it was Big Shaw's birthday. Yes. Yeah, so they were all out partying. It was a surprise Big Shaw party. Himself. Yes, yes, it was a surprise party for Big Shaw himself. And I didn't actually know that Big Shaw and the band were so close. Mm -hmm. It shows that there definitely is a relationship beyond business for him to have agreed to come to Africa. Because you know how you know how the American artist can be when it comes to Africa and especially Nigeria sometimes it's difficult to invite them over even though mm -hmm. you're paying them a lot of money and this was a surprise birthday party so it was close friends and family yeah. that came through so to see the band in the pictures there it definitely shows a strong relationship yeah. between both of them but I'm waiting for this DKM album so you we're know this patient, <sighs> we're waiting he said the 19th he said the 23rd of March but Inside sources reveal the album is actually very, very good. Oh no, I have and no doubt yeah, actually. Yeah, they're saying the album is really very good and they're just taking their time to ensure that they release it at the right time. Sunday, yep. AY show in Nigeria. Now, you know, AY, he had a show here last year that was amazing. So Absolutely. Nigeria now, you know, he had Tamaya, Tonto DK, Sexy Steel, a bunch of people performing. Yeah. Let's not go to Tonto DK yet. <laughs> we're coming, we're coming. <laughs> Sexy Steel, then he had yeah. the likes of um, Julius Agu, yep. the king of comedy, Nigerian comedy, Alibaba, Ali Baba, you know, um, Gordons, Gandoki, like it was just a full house. Yeah. Absolutely. And obviously, you know, we know from all the shows he's been doing, it was a very good night. First, first of all, AY uh, is probably one of the few comedians in Africa at the moment, I won't say Nigeria, in Africa at the moment, that transcends, you know, uh, the culture, Nigeria. Trans he, he really makes everybody laugh. Yeah. The way he puts his shows together, he gets people coming out. Mm -hmm. The performances he's had in London over the last couple of years has been sold out. Yes. So anywhere he's performing, everybody's sure to turn out. And yeah. by the list that you read there, everybody went to support the man so yes, first of all a great show by yep. ay kudos uh fantastic show and you were talking about performances by tonto i love you know i, I like her nollywood she's all good i yeah. don't want to keep acting like i'm Happy. slating her yeah Hap you don't want to keep happening on, on yeah, the singing yeah you know but like on that particular day mm. like weren't impressed you know it was more like watching 
people, like a dance troupe dancing, than yeah. actually watching an artist performing. performing. There has to be something about this lady that has allowed this many performers and credible artists and music producers and video directors mm -hmm. to want to work with, with her. her. First point. Second of all, she was allowed to perform, or she was invited mm -hmm. to perform on AY Live. Mm -hmm. AY Live is one of the biggest stages in Nigeria at the moment, yeah. perhaps the continent itself. So she had one big platform to showcase her skills. Mm -hmm. Performance wise, obviously she didn't start off as a singer, so you were definitely bound to see lapses in that kind of routine. Going back to your first question, mm. yeah, or your first point that yeah. um, people are giving her the opportunity, yes. or, you know, everybody, you know, that goes back her. to what we said before about branding. She is a brand already, yes. Hollywood wise. People love Tonto. Absolutely. Or, well, you either love or hate her like Marmite, yeah. you know. Yeah. But at the same time, we that are talking and we that actually feel like, okay, you know what, just try a little bit, maybe do some singing lessons or mm. something. It's not that we don't like her. You know, I just, think, she just needs to... I think for the fact that she could have put such a routine together shows that she's doing a lot of work. Mm -hmm. She's rehearsing, dancing rehearsals. That takes a lot of time. But maybe she's, she's putting in the time in the wrong area. No, she probably... OK, yeah, because we she don't know what's... more on the singing, so yes. people that are actually criticising you mm. may be able to shut up. You shut them up once, I think you know? eventually, I think when you keep on doing what you love to do in the face of that much Adversity. criticism, mm -hmm. I think eventually the cream might rise to the top. Okay. She might just surprise you one day. OK, Tonto, <laughs> I hope you surprise me. Please surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. She recently dropped the video for Hi. Yeah. Now, Hi was the first video, or oh, the first so, track that I heard, and I was like, okay. So the video is now finally out, and I'm still like, okay. It, it, the thing is, I have to applaud the woman, <laughs> because the strength to keep on doing this. This You have to understand that the music industry in Nigeria and Africa as a whole has transformed it almost into mainstream. The video direct, you know, the, the video directors are on par with any international video director you can get. You know, the songs, the production, the mixes, everything is just right. So to come in as someone that has absolutely no skill in singing, want to be a superstar and show her videos are right, the songs are good, she's definitely going to get criticism. You know, we will be expecting more videos from Tonto and I can guarantee you that it will just get that level higher. Okay, good. Yeah. I hope so. I actually would would be interested to see Tonto performing in the UK, you know. Uh, I, think I would actually be very, very curious because if she was to, forget anything I've said about yeah. the music thing, I would actually go just to see. I think she's, see she's created a buzz around herself. I definitely know that she's built, you know, a fan base here in the UK. So if Tonto is coming to the UK, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, with that now, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching once again, and we'll see you again next week. Remember,